Hello, my friendly Pokemon. Welcome to episode 2 of Road to Seasonal Top. Today I'm starting off just a bit later than when I ended the previous episode, in the sense that I trained just a tiny bit, just a few Pokemon. I'm going to add 697,700 points. And the number 100 at the moment is at 3,684. I'm not there yet. My goal is, with what I'm doing today, I know I'm starting with a good amount of immunity Pokemon, to at least get into that top 100 so we can sort of, every episode, increase that and hopefully stay in the top 100. Meanwhile, what I check is local top trainers. I'm 11th. I want to get into the top 10. I was 10th a second ago, so who was put back in? Like someone that was accidentally banned or something? I don't know. Either way, 697,700 points. We are starting with these Pokemon. I'm going to put um, a screenshot that I took yesterday on screen right now. Uh, I po posted this on Twitter yesterday, asking myself, why do I have this many Noibat? And if we go check, if you all Pokemon, we go to Noivern. Then we only had a regular Noivern. I ha already had a level 100 Shadow uh, Noivern. And based on his experience, that was likely a level 5 one that at some point I just trained to get some EXP. Potentially um, earlier when I tried to get to seasonal top. Then you go to Noibat, and we have a bunch of them here. So we will definitely have some duplicates left um, after that. But for now, I took the lowest level ones out of these that I had. Shadow, I just took the one that I could instantly evolve. So we're going to train these four. So just like before, training a Veltal, because hey, these are flying tops, so that's where we're going. Dark Knob is level 15 and it's dark, so that makes quick work for these chestnut. There we go, that's that one done. Now Noiba does evolve somewhat late. Gen 5 Pokemon on average evolve really late, level 48. But I, le I believe that even level 20 will go to instantly to level 50, so all of them should be able to be So that's Noivern done. In the dark, and the metallic. Which is also level 15. But it should take just a bit longer to take these things out. Because it doesn't get the 25% extra power boost. However, Gust is still pretty good. Being 4 times super effective. And the fact that Metallic Noid Battle is level 15 makes things go so much quicker than if it would be at level 7. I need to make sure that I don't click on um, Firo. Would I accidentally go for another Noid Battle? That is sort of a bad thing, because that only slightly increases both of their levels. Still to a good amount, but neither of them will evolve. And then because they're then higher level when I try to chain them again, they'll gain less than what they could have. That's Metallic Noid Battle, which we're going to evolve. Already quite a bit more EXP than um, during the previous episode at this point in the video. Training Pivalta. Gust, 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 gust. Gust, 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 gust. Go, doing well. Done. Only level 53, as you can see, not level 55. However, it did instantly go to the level we needed for it to evolve. We just have the shiny left, which is at a lower level, so that should take the longest. However, it's still not that bad. It helps that in this immunity training, um, the attacks are four times effective. Uh, there's a few others that do the same, like training Groudon for ground types with an electric immunity. There's others, I believe, for steel types with a poison immunity. There is no training come that I know of that only uses um, moves that you're immune to. Um, outside of the one with Chuckle. And Chuckle is only two times a week to steal as opposed to four times. I'd have to look into. There have to be Pokemon that are extra weak to it. So ice, Rock. There's an Ice Rock in Amora. Amora is just really hard to obtain. And I may not be able to learn four poison moves. Hidden Power Poison is an easy one, but 
outside of that. Okay, that's a Neuvern gun. And they're shiny. Now we're going to check the Neuverns. Dark, Metallic, Mystic, Normal, Shadow, Shiny. So all of the duplicate Neubats can go up for trade. What I could do as well, actually, is um, to level them up, evolve them, get, put them for trade. Um, purely for completing the Pokedex, I am not doing that. Not for, not for the regulars, anyway. I'm going to put this one up for trade. If I put them up for trade, I generally go for the lower level ones that I have. Due to the fact that the, as long as they're not for trade and they're just here in your box or whatever you want to call it, the EXP that they have counts towards your average EXP and that is related to your total points. Not for seasonal top to my knowledge, but your total points that you can see in my account. So, by doing this, I alter my um, average experience. So I actually want to check something. Now I have 6, 9, 8, 8, 4, 3. So once again, these points aren't exactly, like the difference in points at this start and end of the episode isn't exactly equal to the points I get in, um, what's it, in top 100, but until, unfortunately, there's no listing of your seasonal points. I'd really like that, so Patrick, if you're hearing this, that would be awesome to get just the seasonal points listed somewhere. But one, that's another reason why I'd want to be here in the seasonal top list, is so that at the start of the episode, I could just look on this list how many points I have, and then be more exact in the ones in the points that I gain. So, six, nine, eight, eight, four, three. We go to all of my Pokemon. We go to Noibat. I'm gonna put this one for trade. And we're gonna put this one for auction. It's a seven-day auction, so people have time. I generally put them at seven days, lowest price possible. If you want a shiny Noibat, it's there for twenty-five thousand. Also, there's a cost one for five fifty thousand. Generally, that's the, the highest I can start at that while people still want to pay for it. So, I also have a Cosmog up for auction, so if you want to go for that, then just go to my Alka 1 and 3 account, and you'll be able to find it, considering these are the only two. Uh, or you can just type in this auction ID right here to find it. Now we're going to my profile again. I believe it was 893, right? So, it was only very slightly altered by putting these for trade, but it did alter my average experience, so they did slightly change my points. Luckily, it doesn't change it too much, so the points I would put at the end of the episode to, uh, as a comparison don't matter too much. Okay. We were done with Neuvern. Neuvat. Now we are obviously missing the Shadow, the Metallic, and Dark Neuvat, but we'll just have to catch those. We'll just go to Normal, and I believe we were on page 40. So we shall go to Page 40, there we go, Niravan, Nikata, Ninjas, okay, Noibat's here. Page 41 is our next one. Nose Pass, yes, Nose, nose Pass is one that needs magnetic evolution. And on purpose, and I did this like one and a half months ago, I'm on Route 13 in Kalos, and I stopped here because I knew I wanted to do all of these evolutions. And Route 13 in Kalos is one of the places with a special magnetic field, which allows Nose Pass, Magneton, and Charger Bug to respectively evolve into Probopass, Magnezone, and Vicabolt. So I'm staying here to do all the magnetic evolutions. Once all of those are done, then I'm gonna go to um, Alola and to, once I'm in Alola, I can start catching Alolan forms, which I don't really have a lot of yet. And then I go to a special magnetic field, which, let's see, there's Blush Mountain, not sure if that's implemented yet, because that was Ultra and Ultra Moon. But at least the... Um, no, there's Fast Pony Canyon that has the magnetic field as well, and Mountain Line Achilles for the other ice evolutions. So I'm not sure where I'd end up yet there, but probably it'll go Mount Lanakila for the Cabralor evolution. Depending on what I have, though. Anyway, we were looking for Nosepass, so that's Probo Passes its evolution. But I probably, now that I think about it, have already done all the magnetic evolutions. So let's actually check Magnezone while we're at it. We don't have all the Magnezones. Mag Dark, Metallic Shadows. We're missing a Mystic. Do we not have a Mystic Magnemite? No, it seems not. Okay. And then Vicavolt. It's a Gen 7 Pokemon, so that we probably don't have too much of that. Charge Bug. It's normal. 
grubbing. We don't actually have a grubbing. These are probably got from trades, considering I'm still not in... No, I can't, could catch a grubbing, but I'm not in a lowland, so I can't get a lowland forms. That's, that's the thing. Okay, so we already have all of the probo... The probo pass. Probo pass. Do we have duplicate nose pass? We don't, so we just go to page 41 again. Try to find whatever is next on our list. Sure, I could just take this bit block or this polywag, but then by doing it in alphabetical order, it's easier to keep track. Okay, normal. So we want to see camera up. Now, camera has specific case considering it has a mega. However, mega camera up now that in V4, it's not a starter, so you can't buy its mega stone. You have to earn it, and that's really hard to do. However, let's see. I actually let's look at the megas that I have. A good amount of the megas I did evolve in V3, so that's I am happy about that. that Save me some money now. Or some problems. Shiny, Shadow, Mystic, Metallic, Dark, and Normal. I have all of the Megas, that is good. Let's say I would not have had the Shiny Camera to Mega, and I wouldn't have a regular Shiny Camera either. Then I would try to get, if I would have, let's say, two Shiny Nemo, I would both train them to Camera up. At that point, sure, sure I would have duplicates um, Camera up. However, one, would at some point I obtain a Camera up tight, I could then evolve it, and I would then potentially have a spot empty on the shiny ammo that I can then catch in the wild again. Would, but more likely, it, like with those megas, there's multiple megas that I'd want to get that way. Um, I might probably, I'll get them via trade and then, oh yeah, I still have a duplicate um, shiny camera, so I'll just put that one up for a trade or for auction or something like that. So for this, we have all of the megas. We don't have all the regulars. We have dark metallic, so we're missing mystic, shadow shiny, and normal. Mystic, Shadow Shiny, and normal. Mystic, we don't shadow, shiny, and normal. So, this one we can evolve, so we're at level 100. Hey! Probably the same case as with the uh, Annoy Bat earlier, that I talked about at the start of the episode. So, this means we have. We still need the shiny. We still need the shadow. We have the mystic, we have that, so we need normal. Normal, shadow, and shiny. Take a normal. Take the shiny. We're gonna put those on our team. Gonna take a normal. Lowest level possible to get the highest amount of EXP. And we're gonna take the shiny. Keep Firo in. And because I don't have a camera up tight, actually I'll just check if I have a camera up tight or not. We're just clicking this. Do I have camera up tight? No, I don't. And then camera up is the highest I can go to, so I don't have to put normal in a specific position to, as a reminder. I don't have it to try and remember. Oh no, I shouldn't evolve it to Mega because I just can't do it anyway. Oddish is next. Let's see, Val Plume. That's not how you spell Val Plume, so that's why we didn't find any. Val Plume, Shadow and Shiny. Blossom, we have three. Generally, what I go for is the one that's earlier in the Pokedex. So in this case, it's Val Plume, because it only gets a whole generation earlier. Or in the case of like Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon, when I don't remember the order, I do them alphabetically generally. So I first look at Foul Plume, of which I have a Shadow and a Shiny. I already have a Shiny here, so Oddish. Wait, what do we say about Foul Plume? Shadow Shiny. So we need Dark, Normal, Mystic Metallic. Dark, Normal, Mystic Metallic. Okay, there's four of them to get. However, one tiny problem, if I want to put them all on my team, I can't keep my Firo in. However... No, I, I suppose I could then, once a Nummel is um, higher, it is the camera, I could use that. No, I'm gonna keep using the Firo, because I do like using the Firo for that. And that way my Firo can get, be, like, high on the EXP list. I, I don't think it'll ever get super high on the EXP list, but if I keep trading like this, it might. Let's see. Top Pokémon. Highest, you know, 31,000 is, no, 31 million 
is number 100, I still only have 3, and that's my highest, so... Anyway, no, we didn't want Namo, we want Odish. What do we have? Shadow and Shiny, right? Yeah. So we're gonna take Dark, Mystic and Metallic. Leave the normal for now. Do that later. I do realize I have a message and a trade. I'm not sure if they, those were there before I started recording or not. However, I'd like to only look at those after. Um, no, not during the recording, but anyway. Unlikely that there's inappropriate material in there or things that people that I don't want people to see. And obviously, I can still they'll still then cut that out, but. I'm going to do that outside of it. Okay, level 33 for the Camerons. They are ground type, that means they have an immunity. We're going to training Groudon. This Numbel is going to use Magnitude, which does a lot of damage even at level 8. Magnitude is a strong move on Pokemon Vortex. Can I approve that? Because that makes training nice and quick. That was Ancient Power, but I'm glad I'm back in Magnitude. That was likely one of those moments that people will talk about Glitch, like, I click on Ancient Power now, but look, watch me move the mouse. Well, I'll do it again. Okay. I'm a Magnitude. Definitely a Magnitude. I click on Ancient Power, but I move my mouse. It's on Ancient Power now, but I use Magnitude. That's something that I didn't realize for a while, and some people still don't, because they're only experiencing now for the first time. If you click on something else, and this is the case with using items as well on Pokeballs, if you click on it, but then accidentally even slightly move your mouse, then the game will show that, let's say, your new thing, in my case, Ancient Power is selected. But because you move your mouse, it's not really selected, so it'll use the, one, the thing that was previously selected. So if I, I, I could do this, and the city's magnitude. So that's... That could match up, so be careful with that, especially if you want to catch legendary Pokemon, and if you previously, and you don't have Master Balls or something, and you want to catch a Shadow Lugia, and you've just used Thunderbolts to weaken it to 20 HP, and then you want to throw an Ultra Ball, then make sure you just click on Ultra Ball, maybe, and, yeah, the, just click on it once. If you think, I moved, okay, just click it again, because it might just mess you up. It is something that, unfortunately, is, um, in the game, hopefully it will be fixed, because, it is annoying, and it has messed me up um, as well, trying to catch his regular Pokemon, and me wanting to use, let's say, Tackle to weaken it just a tiny bit more, instead of um, Flame Burst, which is which the Pokemon was weak to, and that would then take out the Pokemon, and then I could catch it. Alright, that's an evolution. No, oh, that's another button I wanted to press. For you to go here, and we'll change this other shiny demo. Well, this other normal that happens to be shiny. Let's go. Magnitude. Take you out. Now this normal is just one level lower than the previous one. The level 8 normal went to level 83. Now the shiny normal, which is level 7, will go will get more EXP. Because in comparison, it is a lower level than the level 600 that the Aragons are in total. And this one therefore goes to level 92. The lower the level, um, the bigger <coughs> the difference. <coughs> Especially if you do your division with that. It can be pretty big. So, that one gone. Oddish, I believe, is level 21. Yep. So, Oddish. Grass poison type, sure, it's immune to things like Leech Seed and Sleep Powder and Toxic Spikes. However, it doesn't actually have a full type immunity. So, we're making use of our good friend Furo, Shiny Furo. Actually, I don't have a nickname for it. Is it even mine? No, and originally it's Monster Emuals. There's some Pokemon that I have that I use so much, like my Metallic Collab as well. It's not originally mine. I got it because I, I, like, I got it well back in V3. Um, and I got it just because I wanted it. Because I wanted a metallic collab and I wanted to use it a lot. But now that nicknames are a thing, I want to give my Pokemon nicknames to feel more personal about them, but... Um, I can't do that with some of them. Like, my Torterra, I have, I think, a Dark Torterra that I use in, uh, for my side quests. 
and that Dark Torterra is, um, like, I give that a nickname, my Zerkatry, still a super part of that, the first ever Ultra Boost on V4 caught that during, um, the beta test, I was the first one to get it there, that was awesome. Um, I was able to give that one a nickname called the Christmas Buddy. Uh, a few others that I gave nicknames, Solgaleo for example. Shan I think he's a shiny Solgaleo in my side quest team as well. That's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, with Shiny Furo, my Metallic Lava, there's some ones that I just can't get nicknames because they weren't originally mine. So now, especially no now, knowing that <clears throat> I'm, if I want to use them in the same things like side quests or trying to catch Pokemon, then I'll try to use Pokemon that I caught myself so I can give them nicknames. So this is going to be Dark Gloom. Let's see, do we have Leaf Stones? No, we don't, and we know that we want to evolve four of them. We have the Dark, the Mystic, the Metallic, and then the Normal, which we currently don't have on our team. So we want to buy four Leaf Stones. Pokemart, Evolution, Venusels. Four Leaf Stones. Actually, I want to check something. Evolution. Moonstone, zero. Remember how we bought like 10 Moonstones last time? Apparently, I exactly used them up on the Nido Kings. That's pretty interesting. Okay, my Pokemon team. Evolve. And now we have a Dark Valplume. Let's check something. Yeah, Dark Shadow Shiny. We can continue with the rest. And because this is one order remaining for this, I'm actually just going to replace it now with one of the cameras put that one in front this valve to the back mystic orders to here which should need only one battle to get it to evolve and then I can evolve it twice let's go absorb doesn't do much damage doesn't matter because shiny Pharaoh is here take out all of these chestnuts for free. It, actually, not really. It will ask money for it. It wants the trainer training of Alto to give it money. And we do get the money. There's the Oddish, which has evolved now. Something I suppose I would like to see as well, it's only minor change. But to, when evolving a Pokemon, to always have this box checked, because I always check it. Like, you just saw me not check it uh, on Gloom, but that's only because I know I'm going to evolve it uh, another time anyway. So in that sense, it doesn't really matter. Because it's going to become Mystic Valplume's mood anyway. But I would like that box to always be checked. There's, there's sometimes that you might not want that to be the case. I can come up with a few different reasons. But uh, I would prefer that box to always be checked by default. I, so I, my recommendation to Patrick is either make that the default option, or just make that always be the case or give players um, a small setting where they can choose the default option. Potentially you can put up a poll on like um, on the forums or something like that if which default option people would want and you just make that the default option. That's probably the most easy thing to implement. That's what I'm thinking anyway, but I'm not a programmer. So I don't know as much about that as you. I definitely could not program this with the skills I have. No way. I could give some suggestions, but then still, how do you do the coding? I don't know. Game design seems cool, but it's probably really hard. As with everything, you just need a bunch of experience. Start small, keep going bigger. That's how Patrick was able to improve from the Vortex that it used to be to Vortex V4, which is still, yeah, it was such an upgrade from V3. That was awesome when I first saw that. Seem to be experiencing some more lag. That was annoying. That was at the end of the previous episode as well, and then I stopped recording, and then like three minutes later, things were okay again. So we're gonna try that same thing. I'm gonna stop this clip now, and then in a few minutes, I'm going to magically reappear, which you really won't notice because I'm gonna cut the part where I didn't record, obviously, and then we can continue trading this. Or dish. See you in a moment. And like magic, we are back. 
I have a feeling that it might just be because I've been recording for a while and then my internet bandwidth is like, nah, let's make Vortex not work as well. So now I just take a break for a few minutes, things are fine again. Maybe I just have to do that a few more times in the future as well. I'll just have to deal with that, it's not too bad. Maybe there's something in that time that I can just do, for example, just now in that break I try to get rid of a fly when I took a toilet break. I might as well do that while I wait. And footish. Love you in the gloom. And then look further into vile plumes. Now we should have all the vile plumes. Dark, metallic, mystic, shadow shiny, and normal. We still have a shadow and a shiny left. Blossom has a shadow, but doesn't yet have a shiny. However, I remember we have a shiny gloom. So, well, do we have sunstones? We do have sunstones, okay. So let me check again. We have all of these. Well, awesome, we still need mystic and dark. We need mystic and dark. We can't get that from here. Oddish, there's no mystic. There's no dark either. However, we can make these into glooms, so we will do that. So Shadow Oddish will become a gloom. And then the final Oddish that we have, the Shiny will become a gloom as well. So let's go train that one up. It should take two fights. Because at level 20, if like the Oddish would be level 20, then obviously Fioro is level 100. Total is 120, which is five, exactly five times less than the total level 600 that the opponent has, so that's five levels gained. So as long as Oddish is below level 20, that should be at least five levels. Six. Well, awesome. We have four. We're missing Mystic and Dark. We can't find the Mystic and Dark here. We can't find it here either. All the Oddish are gone. Let's go back and see. We were on page 41, I think. Um, yeah, Oddish is obviously gone now. We have Omanite. So we check Oma Star. Dark, metallic, normal, so then we're missing Mystic and the two S's, so shiny and shadow. Knight. Mystic, shadow, shiny. We have a Mystic, we have a shadow, and we have a shiny. So let's go train all of those up. Mystic. Shadow and the shiny. Oh. There we go. Shadow shiny. Mystic shadow shiny. Okay, did that correctly. And considering there's no more evolution to check there, we can immediately check what, ne what Pokemon is next. So back to page 41 we go. Onyx. It's a trade evolution, but it's an evolution nonetheless. Steelix. Also with a Mega, just like camera. Dark, Mystic, Shadow, Shiny, Normal. So, for Megas, we have Dark, we have Mystic, we have Shadow, Shiny, and Normal. So, for Megas, we're missing Mystic. No, not Mystic, Metallic. For Normals, we're also missing Metallic. And then we're missing Mystic and Shadow. So we need, for Steelix, 
two metallics, one mystic, one shadow. Two metallics, a mystic, and a shadow. This is level one of hey. Item inventory. Buy some metal coats. One mystic, one shadow, two metallic. That is a metallic steelix, there we go. Steelixes that we can. We're missing one metallic that could still become a mega. For the rest of it, we should have one of everything that considering we had the megas already. I suppose that's an easy one with the Steelix considering it was a trade evolution from the beginning and not a level evolution. I likely did that in V3 already before I even knew that you couldn't buy them anymore. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do to end this video off, I'm not gonna try and find whatever came after Onyx, but we are going to evolve these three Omanites. However, due to the fact that training them to level 40 might take a little while. After all, we're not just training them up with one or two battles per Pokemon, but it's more something like eight battles per Pokemon, and then we're doing three of them. I'm going to just skip ahead and I'll see you when I'm done with these Omanites. Shiny Omastar is here. We have all of these things evolved. All at level 40 now. We have all six Omastar, which is really cool. And then we still have three Omanite. So then that's a Mystic, a Shadow, and a Shiny Omanite still to get. And we have all of those fossils. Let's take a look at our profile. Where are we at in terms of points? We made it over 700,000! <clears throat> that is cool, we did quite a lot. It's a good portion of them will have come from the immunity training with the Noibat, with the Nummel. Then we did the Oddish, the many Oddish, and then Omanite, quite a few battles. We made it over 700,000, that's pretty darn cool. So that's quite a few points, however, did we make, did we get to the top 100 in this video? Not quite, this is a 3,749. Uh, on screen right now, just like in the last episode, these are the points that I gained if we compare these points from the start of the episode to now, which might be a bit more than what I actually gained, but I don't have a proper comparison yet. So what I'm going to do my best for for next episode is to be in the top 100 when we start it so we can get a proper comparison to see how much points we're really gaining for it. That's the episode for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.